slope and prediction m and m lecture 2049 2049 given x1 y1 and x2 y2 find the slope and the equation describing the line assume constant slope we are given 0 70 and 10 32 what is the slope and what is the equation of the line So we are given x1, y1, and x2, y2. Once you have x1, y1, x2, y2, we know what slope is. y2 rise over on. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y1 can be positive, negative, or zero. y2 can be positive, negative, or zero. x1 can be positive, negative, or zero. x2 can be positive, negative, or zero. 0, 70, and 10, 32. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have x1, x2. And that gives us change in x, and that is x2 minus x1. We have y1, we have y2, and that gives us change in y, y2 minus y1. What is slope? Change in y over change in x. Change in y is negative 38. And what is change in x? 10. So you get negative 3.8. What is the sign? Negative. I call this section math and society. Are you ready? Let x represent let x represent the thickness of insulation in inches. We have 10 inches of insulation. On one side we have 70 degree Fahrenheit. On the other side, we have 32 degree Fahrenheit. Let's assume this is our origin. Let X represent the thickness of insulation in inches. Let Y represent the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. X1 is equal to zero inches. At zero inches, what do we have? The temperature is 70 degrees. The temperature is 70 degrees. At x equals 10, at x equal to 10, what do we have? The temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is change in y? 32 minus 70, which is negative 38. And what is change in x? 10 minus 0, 10 minus 0, and that is 10. So we have change in y and change in x. So what is the slope, negative 38 divided by 10, which is negative 3.8. Negative 3.8. In between, we have 10 inches of insulation. So what do you expect when you go from left to right? As you increase x, as you increase x by 1, by 1 inch, when you go 1 inch from the left, what happens? Our temperature goes down by 3.8. How many intervals do we have? Each inch we get the temperature lowered by 3.8 degrees Fahrenheit. We have 10 inches. So what happens? The temperature gets lowered by 38 from 70. So what is 70 minus 38? 32. So what is the sign of our slope? Negative. What is the unit? Degrees Fahrenheit per inch. So we have the slope. We know what it means. We have a sign. The sign tells you whether you're going to increase or decrease as you go from left to right. What is the unit? Fahrenheit over inches. This is sometimes called the temperature gradient. We have the slope, negative 3.8. And... Now the question is this, do we draw the line like this, A, or do we draw the line like this, B? Do not forget, when we go from, when we go from left to right, what happens to the temperature? The temperature falls, so we choose B. So our slope is negative, because when we go from left to right, our temperature should fall, our temperature should fall. Our temperature should fall. 
by definition slope is what is the slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to predict what happens in the middle is there anything we can do and the answer is yes so let's choose that unknown as x and y and do not forget the slope of a line is a constant so it doesn't matter which points you choose so let's make x2 y2 into xy instead of y2 minus y1 we get y minus y1 what is y1 70 degrees fahrenheit what is x2 minus x1 x minus x1 what is x1 zero so you get y minus 70 divided by x minus zero equal to slope so we already have the slope and we made one of our points now into that unknown y minus 70 divided by x equals negative 3.8 cross multiply and you get y minus 70 equals negative 3.8 x and add 70 to both sides so what do we get y is equal to negative 3.8 x plus 70 we were told that the slope was a constant so if slope is a constant then we have y is equal to negative 3.8 x plus 70 x stood for the inches of thickness of insulation so now you can put any thickness into this equation and we can get the temperature at that point point. and this is george matthew signing off for both myself and my dad good luck